Hello YouTube, this is Callum from English Shooting and I'm outside which means it's another gun review and it's finally the review of my Remington 700. I've owned this gun since about February, so a fair few months um, and I've got to grips with the gun and I thought it was about time I sat down and did a review. I'm going to be doing some separate videos about the changes to the gun that I've had done, the accessories, the setup and what I plan to do in the future with it, but I'm keeping that separate to keep this video short. I will also be doing a separate review on the Vortex Viper PTS scope, Kraken scope, but again I'll be doing that separate uh, to keep this video as short as possible. So this is a Remington 700 uh, SPS varmint in 308. Um, pretty much as it comes out of the box, the only tweaks that I um, it came with before buying it was it was recrowned, it had the action bedded in and it had the tactical bolt handle added on. Apart from that it is the standard rifle as it comes, standard stock barrel yeah, as you see it. Out of the box and as it's come, you know, I haven't done anything to it apart from those minor tweaks and they are r relatively minor tweaks but out of the box this thing shoots brilliantly. Um, I've never de been disappointed with it. I did go out to a thousand yards with it and failed but that was more to do with the ammunition. Up to 600 yards, I have had just extreme success with it. I was matched up against a 300 Win Mag and Accuracy International AX 300 um, Win Mag. Uh, just a phenomenal gun, just absolutely insane. You know, with with the scope, you're talk, talking about five, six thousand pounds worth. I got the same score with this, and I hadn't had that much experience with this previously. Um, so I pretty much rocked out on the range with this out of the box, and you know, and, and he wasn't a bad shooter either. So a good shooter, brilliant gun, and this shot the same as it. And I think that says it all. Um, there are better 308s on the market. Um, of course, there is. You can spend a lot more, like the Accuracy International. But the reason I went for the Remington 700 was because of what you can do to it. There's pretty much um, an infinite amount of changes you can do to it um, and you can spend your whole life tweaking with it, adding things, taking away. But also it was a brilliant rifle out of the box. So I've got it, I didn't have to do anything to it, um, although it came with those extra tweaks. I've got a cracking rifle and I've got a brilliant platform to build on. Um, so I'm just, you know, just straight off the bat, as I uh, tend to do with most of my gun review videos and just give you an overall feel for the gun, I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, and I think it's very hard to beat for the money. Again, there are better guns out there and there are cheaper guns out there. I just think the Remington 700 has the whole package. So the gun itself, all the features, if I just go over it pretty much top to tail, um, it's got the um, heavy uh, 26 inch barrels, the varmint barrels, so it's a thicker barrel, um, made for target shooting, long range, distance stuff. It's you know certainly not a hun lightweight hunting rifle. Um, it's got a screw cut barrel, so you can fit a mod. Um, it comes with a thread protector on there, um, nice grippy surface on there, nice chunky thread protector. Um, I have got a slot for a moderator, so I will be putting moderator on this at some point. Um, moving down, it's obviously got the, uh, it's got two studs here, one for a bipod attachment and for a sling. At the back, you've obviously got the reciprocating um, sling mount. Um, the stock itself, I think, is quite uh, sturdy, feels nice, doesn't feel cheap. Um, if you're wondering about it being free floating, no it's not. It's actually got raised ribs inside of it which are supporting the barrel on there. Um, but for now, the you know using the stock and talking about the stock, um, I think it's perfect for what I want to do at the moment. I think most people like to think 
you know, this, the stock's a bit of a Marmite thing. Some people just absolutely hate them, have to rip them straight off the gun and put their own on there. Some are completely happy with it, and I'm completely happy with it. Um, I feel that I get a good um, sort of mould with the, with the, you know, the cheek plate. Um, I, I love the you know, softer rubber bits, these inserts. I just feel that it, it fits me very nicely. It feels you know, nice and sturdy, nice, strong quality, um, and I'm completely fine with it at the moment, but I will be changing it at some point, but I'll talk about that in the other video. Um, moving down, the barrels are replaceable. You can add your own, um, you get aftermarket one, again, a huge feature of the rifle. Some of the cheaper ones like the Hauer, you can get a brilliant Hauer package um, in 308, but the barrels are non-replaceable. So you wear out the barrel, say goodbye to the gun, but this you can keep on living forever. You can just replace the barrel. Um, the action itself, it is drilled and tapped for a um, scope rail. It didn't come with the rail, um, but you know, I put one on there obviously because you need to be able to put a scope on, on your gun. Um, it's just four screws, screw it down, really simple. I will be um, bedding in the scope, I will be using um, you know, like that metal compound to actually just bed it in um, and get it nice and set because there is uh, flex in it, the top of the action isn't perfect so you do get some um, flex in the actual rail so you bed it in basically to eliminate that and it takes any stress off the scope and helps improve accuracy. Um, moving down you've obviously got your safety there, it's a big nice clunky safety, it's not the most um, finesse of all things, it hasn't got that much finesse, it is really quite a clunky thing, you can hear it's real mechanical movement in there, but in the cold, in the rain, um, you know, it's easy to locate, it's, you know, it does the job, um, and sometimes I can find the really dainty um, safeties to just be a little bit too small and I, you just can't operate them at all. Um, so the bolt, obviously, I've got the tactical bolt handle there, I think that is really a must-have um, change on there. Um, because I felt that on the standard ones, the unchanged ones, it was just a little bit too small and I just felt like you're always doing that with it. With this you can just grab your hand, just push it forward, plunk it down. Um, you've got nice good control over it. If you get a round stuck you've really got something to yank on um, and it fits nicely in the hand. Um, so to remove the bolt you've got under the, the trigger, um, you press that in and it comes out quite simple. It's just trying to do it at this sort of angle is a bit of a nose. Um, so it comes out, there's your bolt, easy as. Slide back in, obviously push it forward, locks in place. Um, you've obviously got your trigger under there. The whole trigger, trigger assembly can be easily removed. Again, that's gonna be something that I'm gonna be changing. Um, it's just a complete unit. The trigger on this, I don't think is, is awful. Um, there is certainly room for improvement, I'll say that, but it doesn't spoil shooting the gun for now. Um, it's one of those things I'm more than happy to, to shoot with um, and then change at a later date. Um, so underneath that, um, obviously you've got your internal magazine. So it is internal, it doesn't detach. You can release it, it's a little hatch that pops down um, and there's your full sort of uh, magazine assembly and that just pops back up so you've got to actually top load um, all of the all of the rounds. Now, if you watch any of the shooting videos, the the majority of them, I'm just loading single rounds. I think this is the uh, biggest bugbear of this gun is I find it almost impossible to uh, to load the rounds, especially when I'm sat down in the prone position with the gun. I find it really awkward to get my fingers in there, and I've got small fingers and small hands, and I I struggle to get my fingers in there and grip round the, the round to push it down. Even if I manage to get, it's a, I believe it's a four plus one, so you can put four in the magazine and one in the chamber. Um, but even if I manage to get all four rounds in, I find that they just jam up um, and I end up having to press the hatch, get them out, um, so I just single load them. Again, that's another thing I'm gonna change um, with the stock that I'm gonna get, I'll probably get a detachable magazine. Um, so yeah, that's all the sort of action or the bolt. The bolt itself, I think, is smooth enough. Um, obviously, it's one of those things that will wear in a little bit more as I shoot it. I've probably only put a couple of hundred rounds down this, um, so it has sort of loosened up a little bit. I find it smooth enough. Obviously, just keep it oiled. It's going to last you know, a very long time. Absolutely solid actions. The actions on these guns are 
pretty much the basis of many custom builds. Um, they are very, very well renowned, um, strong, reliable, accurate actions. Um, so you really can't go wrong with them. Continuing moving down, um, obviously you've got your rubber um, butt pad here and your stock, um, or the end of your stock here. The, the rubber I really love. Um, again, one of the things that combinates in me loving this rifle so much is that it's a joy to shoot. Um, I've shot um, plenty of different rifles, target rifles, you know, um, multi-shot bolt actions, um, sort of this style, hunting rifles, loads of different ones. And I love this because it's so easy to shoot. It's a pleasure to shoot. Um, it's not brutal on the shoulder. Um, you can get the you know smallest of people, um, you know, women, and even you know sort of children if you really wanted to to shoot this and they do it all day long it's not a brutal gun um, and all of my friends say that they prefer shooting this because you, you don't worry about it it's not going to bite you or attack you um, it just lets you shoot it all day long with without doing um, any harm to you um, so yeah that's a complete top to bottom of all the features if you have any more questions about it you want to know anything about it um, or you'd like to see any specific videos about it please just drop a comment in the comment section below um, and I'll happily make any videos you want. But as always, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon.